Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we show you how to replace the door lock on a Casita after ours broke on the last trip we were on. What do you do when you get to your trailer and you put the key in to unlock it and it just spins and spins and spins and spins. You end up having to drill the lock out and replace the whole assembly. Sorry I couldn't show you the part where it was spinning but we were at our welcome center and went to get some stuff out of the trailer and couldn't get in it so I ended up having to drill it out with the drill that I keep for raising and lowering the uh, jack stands and for the drill bits I use for the pop rivets you can see where I drilled it out there and was able to open it once I got it open I found out that these two screws right here were completely loose and these screws on the inside were completely loose and then when you take this plate off there's two other screws that were loose so uh, now what we're going to do is we've bought a new door handle um, I could have opted for the keypad but you know in the years that we've had this we've never even missed it and for saving $120 to get just a regular door handle it was worth it for me now the new handle I've got is white which I don't really care and I'll show you how we installed that first thing we're gonna do is start by taking these four screws off the plate on the inside and then once we get these four screws out you can see the actual actual mechanism in here these are the other two screws that I were telling you about were loose on the inside uh, just so you know this piece right here is what pulls the latch over and then this is what turns to lock the deadbolt okay this is what I had to drill into and actually turn it by hand with a screwdriver. All right, once that piece is off, you're going to come on the end over here. You're going to take these screws out. And once you get those out, you're going to take this little plate off. Okay. At the factory, they actually seal these on with silicone. So what you're going to take is a razor knife. And you want to be very careful as you're doing this not to cut your, your thing. And you're just going to cut down in between there. Okay, and just slowly cut it all the way around. And then once you get it cut, you just work your uh, locking mechanism out. And see, there's your old locking mechanism. Okay, next thing we're going to do is, you can see the shavings in here where i drilled it out i'm going to clean all that out and we're going to clean this caulking off right here now the new one i have has a seal that goes on here so we won't need to caulk this one get your lock out you want to go ahead and clean it all up so it's nice and clean like i said the new lock has a gasket built into it so i'm going to use it but there is a little place over here I'm, once i get the lock in there i'll put some caulk in all right once our locking mechanism is in the hole we're going to take and put the end plate on here. We're going to get the uh, two screws started on it. We're going to snug these screws up. We're not going to tighten them down all the way yet. Uh, we're just going to have put them in there to hold the locking mechanism in. We're going to check the operation of it. Once we verify the operation, we'll turn around at that point and put the backing plate on. Once the backing plate's on, we'll come back and retighten these screws. Okay. Hold your backing plate on, line the four screws up, and go ahead and start putting them in there. Make sure your handle was pushed in on this backing plate so that it catches that little latch I showed you a minute ago that pulls the uh, door latch in and out. What I'll do on these screws is I'll monitor them, and if they start to come loose uh, over time, what I'll do is I'll take them out, put a little dab of Loctite on the threads, and put them back in to hold them. And I'll apologize for the rain at this point. As we uh, started putting this in, it started raining on us, and it's going to continue to rain till the end of this video. All right, let's see that works to pull the latch in. And our deadbolt comes out. So now I'm going to go inside. Right. 
works from the inside. There you go. Works like a champ. And unlocks. Hi right, folks. Well that's how we replace the door lock in the rain, no less. And uh, we appreciate you watching. We hope this helps you out. And if you have any future questions, go ahead and drop us a line. Until then, we'll see you out there on the road.